Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to show you how the Windows drivers, the Windows 7 drivers for the Alpha USB Wi-Fi adapter AWUS 036 NHR work. So, first of all, I installed the drivers uh, from the CD. They worked pretty well, installed without any problems. So now I'm going to plug the device in. You've heard the sound and I'm going to open the program that came with a CD. So here it is. It pops out it pops out right away and gives me the name of the device and detected detected it automatically. I have already um typed in all my credentials and the SSID so it automatically connected to the Wi-Fi access point. Here you have the signal strength. It's seven, four, uh, 74%. That's a big um, issue, I guess, with this pro program and the, with these drivers. You have no exact numbers. So, you know, uh, the signal strength is 74%, but you don't know um, the reference so you don't know which is 100 percent is it 500 milliwatts is it um, 20 dBm I, I have no idea you know that's a big issue with the Windows drivers so I can tell if this driver um, transmits with 2 watts or with 1 watt or with 100, 500 milliwatts but you can see later on in the video what I think it does so here you can change the transmission power to um, whatever you want, but you, uh, another time you have no reference what you change it to. Here we have the ca category uh, profiles. You can change and make uh, new profiles for each SSID or for each MAC address, um, and you can give the program the credentials and IP addresses specified for each SSID or um, MAC address. Here you can um, see all the networks or access point it finds. Here uh, is a button to find this. Okay, now I look for it and the red circle um, shows you which is uh, which uh, device is connected to. That's the status. status. Uh, here you can see a global domain. I think this means um, it is on a default level. Um, there's something in Linux. It's also called doma uh, global domain. It's the code zero zero, um, and this tells the user that it transmits, at least in Linux, it transmits with um, a power of 500 milliwatts or 20 dBm. So I think the driver now transmits with a rate of 500 milliwatts. I don't know this for sure, but I guess it works like that. So here I have the rate again, the transmission rate, which is on 48 megabits per second. Uh, the channel, which is the channel 11 on 2.462 uh, gigahertz. Uh, the status, status, um, the SSID, uh, it's called Thomas. Uh, the network type, its infrastructure, uh, if the energy uh, save mode is on, it's not on, the MAC address of my device, and uh, how many minutes and seconds it's on. Here are the statistics. Uh, you can see transmission packets um, transmitted correctly. You can see here uh, it's 831. Transmission power, uh, transmission problems to transmi uh, receiving a packet, uh, received packets that are, uh, which are okay. They are uh, 1,948. And the other stuff is, yeah, useless for me. Uh, WPS is a type of encryption um, which is not really good. You get a pin from the access point which you have to write in in this program and it can um, automatically um, connect to the Wi-Fi router without any long passwords. 
but this type of encryption is not really good and it was broken um, some days after or months I don't know but it's already broken here you have uh, the tab virtual Wi-Fi it's for software access point so you can start a software access point with this program um, yeah it can change the IP address the MAC addresses and so on and so forth here you can change the mo modus from station that's what it is now um, that's simply we we can use with uh, as a Wi-Fi adapter or as Zugriffspunkt which is an access point software access point yeah what we have here down here um, this is task leisten symbol anzeigen that's the symbol in the task bar you can see here uh, funk aus means in english um, stop transmission uh, stop the transmission and ad adapter deactivieren is deactivate the adapter uh, yeah, and that's in English, so you can read it your, uh, on your own. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, uh, comment, and rate. And if you have any problems, please send me a personal message or leave a comment down below, and I'm going to answer it and help you out. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.